I grew up here, so I was born on the farm. I grew up just in the house next door. I remember long hours, and when I was growing up, we worked seven days a week. Didn't make any difference what day of the week it was, why it was a work day. You go back to school in the fall, and the teacher always wanted you to write your first paper of, what did you do this summer? Well, I was always, I didn't, I didn't have to write very much, like work, worked every day, and that's just the way it was. My first memories of farming as a kid were driving combine or helping burn fields. As soon as school was out, I was headed home to the farm. Oh, my dad got started farming when he was a senior in high school. He was renting about 150 acres and just kind of started farming from there. Ended up going into a venture with some peppermint. The reason it's such an honor for us to, to work with the Vidal family is because they take such pride in what they do. They love growing peppermint, they love harvesting peppermint. You look at this distillery. This is a state-of-the-art distillery. You won't find anything like this anywhere else in the world. They understand everything that's going on from start to finish. As soon as the trucks start bringing in the tubs, we just watch for when they're going to hook them up and make sure they get the steam going. When the steam comes up to pressure, we've got different buttons here to regulate the steam. And it's just a lot of pacing back and forth in here, watching 16 different bays and making sure it happens right. This year we're harvesting 520 acres of peppermint and we're going to plan on doing that in eight and a half days. So we're cooking right now about 102 to 103 tubs a day. The Willamette Valley tends to have a more oil that's more sought after than other places in the United States or around the world. And a lot of it just has to do with the climatic conditions here. When the plant starts to bloom, the quality of the oil starts to change. We don't want to end up with oil that's not of the consistency that the consumer wants. Although we could get more oil by letting the plant get more mature, there's a certain time in there where we have the best quality for the maturity. Because of the care they put into their fields and making sure they're, they're free of weeds, we get the finest peppermint in the world. We want to be the best in whatever it is that we're doing. So I love it when the wellness advocates come to visit our mint still. It's such a um, emotional experience to me to be able to talk about something that we are so passionate about to see the impact of our efforts, of our hard work, through the stories that are then told to us. I know it means a lot to them. And when they share with others about peppermint oil, they know exactly where it came from and they can be even a stronger advocate for the use of peppermint oil. And you think, wow, it, we really are making a difference.